Hello everybody, welcome to Digital Tech Train. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a simple web application using scaffolding. So scaffolding basic is a code generation framework. It's like a wizard uh, provided by Microsoft to enable you to interact with your data models and create a standard data operation application quickly without writing a single line of code. So let's check out how this is achieved. So let's open Visual Studio 2019, click create new project, select ASP.NET Core Web Application, click on next, a demo app and I've selected my default uh, location, click on create, make sure that you select web application model view controller. During this video, I'll also uh, introduce you the concept of model view controller and how the uh, design pattern is uh, adopted. Uh, just a summary on, on that topic. Make sure that you untick this configure for HTTPS and click on create. So our project is getting created. So in this, uh, I'm going to create a uh, model for uh, maintaining book information, basically titles. So so what we'll do is that the project is loaded first thing we'll do is that we'll go to our data model folders and we'll create a data model as and name it as titles so we add a class titles and now we set some properties it's as good as designing a table and adding columns so we create properties so we say prop double tap this is a feature of .NET. We can use this to quickly create the properties. So our first, it will be an ID because this will act as a primary key of the table or the data model. Then double tap. This will be string. Tap tap, and this will be title name. And then we will have prop double tap string. Uh, we can have uh, ISBN number. So we say ISP PN number. I think it should be int and then we have property string. Sorry, it's it will be int and we say cost and uh, then we have obviously the author name string author name and then we have uh, the last field string and pub string publisher name so our model is ready so it has a id field it has title name isbn number cost author name and publisher name what is the next step now our model is ready now we will go ahead and we'll tell Visual Studio ASP.NET Core to enable scaffolding. For that, what we'll do is, is we'll go to the controller. We will add a controller called title. Make sure that you use MVC controller with view using entity framework. So this is very important. So once you select this, now pay attention to, this, to the screen where it says model class, which we have already added, which is VR titles okay now data contest class is nothing but it is it is a class that will interact with your database uh, i have created videos on data contest class you can go and watch it out uh, we will simply here say add because we are creating a new uh, data layer object or class and we call it as demo app dal or we simply say dal app or dal demo app Okay, so DAL is data access layer. So we say that and we say add. Now, this is a controller class. This is a, we are going to create a new DAL. Now what Visual Studio or ASP.NET Core will do is that it will add the necessary packages and set up our project with all the features for titles class. Just see, add. You can see it is using the NuGet packages and installing the entity framework core. Then it will install all the dependency injection, it will install the data layers, 
uh, the compatible database which we can use and during this video i'll also show you the inbuilt uh, data migration how to use the command of data migration and set up a database everything will be shown in this demo so please be with with till the end and watch every every action and every uh, setup which i am doing it so that you understand it thoroughly and i believe me this will be your core uh, you know uh, concept which will enable you to develop much in bigger enterprise application so what I, what has happened is that now if you look at the project we have a controller class which we added it we have a data model now we also have a data layer which is dal demo app what does this do this is having a constructor and it is having a declaration of a model so this represents our table so uh, so titles is a table okay now if you look at the app setting.json you will also notice that it is added a connection string it is added a connection string and it is named the database as dial demo app contest and with some alphanumeric number so this is automatically visual studio or esp.net core as set up this database but this database is presently not created we are going to issue some commands and create the database and we can visually see it so how are we going to do that because if i run this application right now you will see you'll get an error or you might not get an error because i have not yet initiated the uh, the command or written the code to call the project so so right now it is it is not having any error but but if you look at the controller and if you look at the view okay now when we created a controller for titles over here it created a controller title and if you notice it is created a titles view with all the operation is showing the data editing data delete data details and creating a new title now i'll explain this class i have explained this entire concept in detail in my previous video but uh, today's video is how you can create a standard of web application without writing a single line of code now see this is what the .NET is done for you ASP.NET core is done for you it has created everything for you now we need to go ahead and set up the necessary tables so i will go to this class uh, view shared and instead of home over here what i can do is that i will call the controller titles I want to show the error to you so that you understand titles and titles as a page called index. So now we'll run this project. And click on home and you see we'll will be thrown with an error. Because it will go and find the database which is still not created so you can see the error so let us fix this let us fix this error by creating the database so go to your uh, tools nuget manager and go to console here we first issue a command called add migration and name it as initial migration you can name anything so look at the folder over here see it is created created a fold folder called migration okay and it is created a file okay which will actually create a database and the table okay so now if you look at if you open this migration file you can see that it is created a table okay with basis uh, model class which we created id title name isbn cost author name publisher name and it is defined primary key as id so the table is created it is set up the table and this is a data context class which is created this will actually go ahead and create a database with all the constraints required now we have created the class now it's time to execute it so go to your package manager again 
and say update database succeeded now if you go to your view and sql server object explorer you'll be surprised to see a database is created for us automatically with all the required columns i'll just open it so you can see the sql explorer now this is where our database is if you click on database not this one database and here you can see demo app and it will have dial demo this is our database and this is a table which is build basis of data model with the model class which we created I refresh it once it's taking two time dial demo app and this is a table way too much of time for notice yes so you can see a table titles is created over here and you can see view data right now there is no data now let's move to the next step we will try to run this project and we'll you'll we'll be surprised to see that everything is already built and set up for you so we click on home but this time there is no error because the table is created we say create new title cost author name publisher we say create yes the data is created let's create one more can see the we are able to create a new title book we are able to edit it we are able to view the details we are able to delete the book everything is done i have not written a single line of code to achieve this now if you look at the database you if you look refresh the database or view data you will be able to see that the records is available over here so i have done nothing okay everything was done by uh, the asp.net core uh, scaffolding code generation framework it created a necessary data layer to connect with your data, uh, data class it it is created a connection string over here here you can see it is created a connection string over here it has added the necessary startup code so that your project knows which database to connect uh, when it runs so, so this, this is the way it is created uh, pull the connection string from the app setting and connect it to your database so everything was given done by dot net i didn't write a single line of code to achieve this now coming back to our mvc pattern what we can see over here is in our view we created a model and then we created a controller called titles and that title controller added all the necessary methods method to fill in the information from the database to view the details to create a new view new title and to edit the title to delete the title everything all the codes were generated by the code code generation framework also we can see that in the view model basis the type controller name it created the set of all function by default like it for create for delete details edit and index everything was created by the scaffolding code generation engine 
coming back to our understanding of mvc i'm sure everybody knows what uh, the mvc pattern is is famous for but let me just walk you through once so what uh, what is what is an mvc so basically an mvc is a framework it's a design pattern that separates an application to three main logical components that is your model view and the controller mvc separates the business logic and presentation layer for each other the architects become popular for designing web application as well as mobile app and it provides way bigger advantage over the traditional monolithic design architect now coming back to our architect the visual architect of mvc we have three main components called the controller view and the model the controller interprets the request and response from the user and then it it connects with the view and the model the model connects with the database so that offers a great level of uh, separation of logics and that is why it is it is it is faster development is faster multiple developers can work and uh, this provides a very clear clear segregation of component the roles and responsibility which each component plays uh, which is a very vital and a very important and that is why mvc is becoming so popular now if you look at the features it has of as i mentioned offers a clear logical separation supports a test driven development now uh, why a supports a test driven development because it offers uh, uh, the the model and the view and and the controller can be uh, separately tested and uh, codes can be written against those component without without any impact to the other components in the in the in the patterns multiple developers obviously can work it offers a faster development process and obviously we should not forget the advantage and the and the great use of routing uh, which 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 has uh, totally removed uh, the need for physically pointing the files in iis uh, like we used to have previously in a traditional asp um, or asp.net so uh, i hope you have understood this uh, concept i hope you have understood scaffolding feature and i have demonstrated you a very quick simple example i'm sure you can go ahead try this on your own so guys thank thanks once again for watching this video and please do subscribe to the channel and like this video thank you